God bless you guys. This is Cindy. And this is Eleni. And we're Glory, Glory Girls, Girls for, for Jesus. Jesus. And today, Eleni and I wanted to come on and just talk to you about the benefits of being in the kingdom of God. You know, as citizens in the United States or are part of your country, there are many benefits that come with it. That's why people try to become citizens in their country. But when you are a citizen in the kingdom of God, there are so many riches that you will receive and benefits that it's such a blessing that Eleni and I wanted to share about that today. So when you are a citizen of the kingdom of god you have to remember first how do you become a citizen in the kingdom of god well the bible says well um in nicodemus asks jesus how do i become a citizen of the kingdom of god basically my own terms but he says unless a man is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of god flesh gives birth to flesh but the spirit gives birth to the spirit jesus is talking to us about being born into the kingdom of god so unless you um become a born again believer by baptism of uh, the Holy Spirit by the water baptism you can't enter the kingdom of God but the kingdom of God is amazing because it provides protection for us it provides so many things right Eleni absolutely it provides so many benefits to being in the kingdom of God one of them is healing and deliverance yes. in my case God delivered me from yes. sickness and disease and I could stand here today and tell you that I'm a hundred percent healthy and whole and that's only because of the grace and hand of God another thing that he does provide deliverance I dealt with a lot of anxiety and fear and disbelief and God has delivered me from that as well however it's a daily battle like I tell you in other videos so you can't say that God will God will deliver you but you have to do your daily maintenance and stay in the Word of God yes. and know the provisions that God has for you absolutely and it also says here Matthew 6 Six, that God promises to take care of us if he takes care of the birds of the air and the lilies of the field he'll definitely take care of you it also says in Romans 14 17 that God promises peace joy and righteousness through the Holy Spirit we also have the ability to produce wealth and it says that in Deuteronomy 18 18 and then also the promise of an inheritance of everlasting life you know that's amazing that's what Jesus came on this earth to do for us you know and the most important thing that I think is one of the benefits of being in the kingdom of God is the forgiveness of your yes. sins, the Ooh. washing away where you know that you won't have God's judgment and punishment on your life because of the sins. That blood was already shed for you and I think that is so powerful. Don't you agree, Absolutely. Eleni? Absolutely. That's a weight lifted off your shoulders to yes. know that God will not remember my sins. He does not hold it against me and he forgives you. I think that's so powerful and also God gives us wisdom. Yes. He gives us knowledge. You know, if you read the book of Proverbs, that's whole is a whole book dedicated to giving us wisdom about getting money about getting wealth so those are great things as well and God also gives us renewal you know it's like refreshing it says in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28 at a time of refreshing of renewal come to me all of you that are labor and heavy laden and I will give you rest God gives you rest as well that is amazing and in John 14 13 14 it says the promise of answered prayers if ye shall ask for anything in my name i will do it the power of jesus's name the, the ability to use it and claim it that's one of the greatest benefits in the kingdom of Absolutely. god don't you agree i think it's amazing everyone will want to be a, a resident of the kingdom yes. of god i was watching something earlier today and it just came to me and they were talking about God's like power and being yes. in his presence and they were talking about when you're in his presence he does amazing works there was this lady that was worshiping Jesus and a guy was writing well a, a guy was there in the service and then he saw that her hair was all gray and it was turning black so it was saying that God gives you a new life like he yes. makes old things new so you don't get old in the kingdom of yes. God and when I heard I was like that's crazy but God could do the impossible so I just wanted to share yeah, that with you I think that's amazing you know there's so much like you said God can do the impossible when you're a part of the kingdom of God God does the impossible yes. you serve the God that does the unlimited things when he does supernatural things, things that we can't do in the natural, God does for us. So that's one of the best benefits of being in the kingdom of God. But also, like Eleni mentioned, and I think this is so important, is the deliverance. He yes. delivers you from all the bondages of evil, of all these addictions. There's so much addiction that the Lord has delivered people from and delivered us from. And that is available to you and for you. You know, you just have to be, you know, willing to enter the kingdom of God and it's very easy to enter the kingdom of God that's what salvation is all about is repenting having faith getting baptized and receiving the Holy Spirit and it's available for you God is waiting for you he wants to give you all these riches of the kingdom of God there's so much the kingdom of God is us 
representing God on earth. So the kingdom of God, you don't have to wait to go to heaven to receive yes. the blessings. It's brought here on earth. When you have the kingdom of God here, you can do anything. Life is just amazing, right? It Eleni? is. And just to touch base on what you said, like God just wants to be in relationship with us. Yes. So when you are in relationship with him, you receive all these benefits and you experience the supernatural. I know I want to have the best yes. relationship with God. I want favor everywhere I go. I want just... I, I want to feel that I don't even know what to say. Yeah, just a I, favor, everything like just special, you know. Yeah. Like you get certain perks. Yes. So that's what it is when you're in a relationship with God. He makes a way. He makes things new again. Yeah, and I love what you said as favor. You yes. get like ridiculous favor when you have the favor of God with you and you earn the kingdom of God. Yes. God does things that you're like I can't do that in my own strength, but through God's strength, He can do it for you. And I think that's powerful as well. So. The kingdom of God brings many benefits. It's so much that we can't sit here. We have a video going on for days sharing all the amazing blessings that you have being a part of God's kingdom, being a citizen of God's kingdom. And we welcome you to join us in the kingdom of God because there's so many blessings that God is infinite. There's so many things that we're not even aware of that he can do. But you, when you serve that God, that God will protect you. He will take care of you. He will guide you. He will strengthen you. He will give you life and life more abundantly. There's so much. There's healing. There's deliverance. Like we said, there's divine connections. Yeah. And you know, there's so much that God can do for us. But when you come back in relationship with him, like Aladdin's saying, because when you get born again, he is becoming your father mm -hmm. again. And as a father, you provide for your children. Mm -hmm. You protect your children. You make sure that your children has everything that they need to survive and thrive. And that's what the kingdom of God does for us. Right, Eleni? Yeah, so many people feel that when they... Well, you believe in God, but you feel like God is so far away. And to put it in perspective, I want you to think of God like as your natural mother or father. Yes. You see how you have that relationship with them? If you do, you know, you see them often. They take care of you. They cook yes. for you. They look out for you. That's how I will have a father. It's, I don't want you to see him like he's a god that is so far away yes. and that maybe he's mad at you or he won't grant certain prayers that you have because god wants to answer yes. all your prayers he's just waiting there for you to pray the word and read the scripture back to him so that he could perform what his word says absolutely and what you're saying is god is love right yes. and and that's what our parents demonstrate for love but if god is everlasting love you cannot even we cannot comprehend how much yes. love god has for us god doesn't reject you god loves you and that's what we're saying come back he will provide for you it's like the story of the prodigal son of the lost son you know he's there open arms waiting for you to come back to him he loves you and he's just wanting a relationship yes. with you he wants a connection back with you he wants to bless you and give you everything that he has desired for you and believe me it's the best decision you will ever make because with god the best is yet to come with God you can do all things with God it's just the best life ever and I'm telling you because we're both telling mm -hmm. you that God has done so much for us a lot of people think when you're joining Christianity you got to give up a lot no let me tell you something don't look at what you're losing look at what you're gaining and let me tell you you're gonna gain so much right Eleni yes I don't know why I feel so strongly that some people might feel like God is upset with you yes. I want you to know that God is not upset no. with you he loves you so much yes. he wants you to come back to him so I don't know who this is for but I want you to know that God loves you yes. and he's waiting for you. Absolutely. Come back. That's what he's saying. Come back in relationship with him. And that's another benefit of, of with joining the kingdom of God. Then you have your body of believers that are encouraging you, your brothers and yes. sisters to keep you going. That's what the church is all about. And that's what our fellowship is about. That don't, When life gets hard and there are moments that you know, things are going to come that you can't control. When you are part of the kingdom of God, you have the God that's in control. Mm -hmm. You never have to lose hope because God gives you hope. God gives you faith. God gives you strength. God gives you everything that you need. So we encourage you, come back to the kingdom of God. Become citizens of heaven. And it's easy. It's available for you. Like we said, look at our salvation video. Look at our baptism video. And just have a conversation with God. God does things in unusual ways and, and different ways. So once you sit down and you just repent and you have a conversation with God, God, will make a way for you he will answer your prayers you know he's a way maker he's a deliverer Amen. he's everything that you need him to be he's the great i am you know look at our names of god videos that share all the great things that god does for you so today we encourage you let's begin to share about the benefits of the citizenship in his kingdom and bring hope to the hopeless and be a salt and light in this world and just do what god has called us to do which is to share our testimonies and to be a witness of god's goodness and his glory so we encourage you today Look at the benefits of God and be yes. blessed. So God, God bless, bless you guys. You.